Hi guys, it's Tony from GME. In today's video, we're going to run you through the self-test procedure for the MT610G personal locator beacon. If you're spending a lot of time in remote areas or traveling in areas with limited or no mobile phone reception, a personal locator beacon is great insurance for situations where you may need to call for emergency assistance. But carrying a PLB is not the whole story. Of course, you need to know how to activate it in the event of an emergency, and it's also really important that you perform regular self-tests on the beacon, particularly if you're about to travel for extended periods in remote areas. So in this video, we're going to run you through the general self-test procedure, and we're also going to run you through the GPS self-test procedure. So starting with the general self-test procedure, this tests the circuitry within the beacon to ensure that it is going to transmit correctly in the event of an emergency. You can perform the general self-test up to twice per month for the life of the beacon. However, we do not recommend that you perform the self-test procedure more regularly than that, as it does deplete the battery life and it may result in the beacon not transmitting for the required 24 hours continuously upon activation. So to get started with the general self-test procedure, you'll first need to deploy the antenna on the beacon, which is quite simple. Unclick the red latch and fully raise the antenna. On the side of the beacon, you'll see two buttons. There's a green button, which is the test button, and the red button, which is your activation button. Now, of course, given this is a live beacon, we don't want to be pressing the red button unless we are in a situation of grave or imminent danger. To perform the self-test procedure, simply press the green button once for about one second. You will see the white strobe light on the beacon flash once, which indicates that the self-test has started. You will then see two quick green flashes of the LED, followed by a long flash of the green LED. Now, instead of those green flashes, if you see the red light flash at any point, that will indicate that either the 121.5 megahertz or 406 megahertz circuitry is not performing as intended, and at that point, you should contact GME and arrange to return the beacon to us for assessment to ensure that it's gonna work correctly in those emergency situations. Now for the GPS self-test, we need to step outside. So as you can probably tell, we've now moved outside. The reason for that is we're going to perform the GPS self-test procedure, and it is very important that you've got a clear view of the sky to perform this test. That's because the beacon is actually going to make contact with the GPS satellites. So for this test, make sure you're not inside a building or inside a car so that the beacon can quickly detect the satellite, send the test message without depleting too much of the battery life. So we start the GPS self-test procedure the same way as the general self-test by deploying the antenna and pressing the green test button. However, instead of pressing the button for one second, press and hold the button for four seconds until you see the green LED illuminate at which point the GPS self-test has started. Now, while you're conducting this test, it's very important that you keep the beacon in the one location with the antenna pointed directly up towards the sky. The beacon will then start flashing the red LED every 1.5 seconds until such time as it makes contact with the satellite system. Now, be patient. This may take up to two minutes, but keep a close eye on the LEDs. Following the successful completion of the GPS self-test, the green LED light will flash eight times in quick succession. If, however, the red LED light flashes eight times, that indicates that the self-test has not been successful. At this point, reconduct the GPS self-test, and if you do not receive the eight green flashes at the end of the test, it's time to contact GME, get in touch with our service techs, and arrange to have the beacon returned to us for a proper inspection. For any further information, check out the website at gme.net.au or if you've got any questions, drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest from GME.